Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I got the stick. We're playing Madden 20, the Dolphamite side. No, we're playing the Houston Oilers. Are you serious? I thought I saw the Dolphins up there. Yeah, nah, dude. That's where we're playing nah. the Dolphins. <laughs> Wow. Right. wow, you literally, like, this I, TV is, like, three feet away from But me. I saw the Dolphins, so I immediately oh, thought... Oh, we are playing the Dolphins. Oh, uh, <laughs> look at that, dude. Yeah. Use you. We're playing the Houston Oilers franchise. <laughs> if you haven't watched our QB1 TNT Dynamite yeah, check Dolphins... check that out. Check that out. <laughs> yeah, we're, as always, playing offense only. We're simming the D. Simming it up. Using balanced playbook. Playing on all man arcade mode. <laughs> That was a nice inflection. I didn't know you could hit notes like that. Yeah, fam. dude, I got I got some high notes. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, we got uh, we got I don't even remember the quarterback's name. Six guns, something, uh, something white. Yeah, whoa, Brody Six Guns, isn't it, Brody? <laughs> Brody Six Guns White. <laughs> his name is White, not his race. Oh, he just happens to be white as yeah. well. Wow. <laughs> Wow, where's your mind at, racist? I don't know. I just figured you were saying that his name was very Caucasian. Oh, That's all he, I mean. it is a Caucasian name. Brody, Brody Six Guns. And he's white. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What, uh, what are we talking about today, man? I don't know, man. Uh, oh, Jonu. We oh, went over, mofo. We can talk about this touchdown. <laughs> we're not making the topic of the video <laughs> touchdowns. All right, Jonas. Uh, favorite color. Wow. This, uh, yeah, this is going to get today? deep. Today? No. Or as a child. Period, man. Black. Really? Just yeah, man, it's my heart, soul. Really? Mind. So you just see the color black and you get warm fuzzies, huh? I like it. How do you feel when you look at me? I'm black, Jonas. <laughs> I get warm fuzzies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but <laughs> You know, it, it's funny, man. I think I feel like I have two favorite colors a lot of times. Like yeah, I love me too. I love blue, but I really like red. Oh, so you're banging on wax on both sides of the street. Yeah, like I could never decide. That's why you never joined a game. You couldn't figure out which one you wanted to join. I don't know. I don't know which uh, which which handkerchief I like in my pocket. Better. I know. I just join for fashion sense. Yeah, you're like, ooh, it matches all my stuff. <laughs> red is all is my second favorite color. Okay. Red and was my favorite color as a child, and then when yeah. I became emo and started hating everything as a teenager. I figured black was a lot more swell suited, and look at this dude shrugging Another thoughts one. off like an IG man. Another one. Boom. Yeah, dude. So, so why? So, and you're fond of black and red together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know what's crazy? I'm fond of red and blue, but only if there's white. Like the, I, I really oh, like, do. Like Americana? Not. <laughs> I mean, it, it just so <laughs> happens that that is the case, but I, there's no ulterior motive when I say that I love red, white, You're and blue. Like, I hate, I like red and <laughs> blue, <laughs> but if you put red, white, and blue together, it really gets you <laughs> yeah. going. Yeah, truck nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Budweiser apple pie. <laughs> so uh, when it comes to a vehicle, you would never drive a any other but black? Uh, my, my car is black, I, I know. think. Yeah, wait, wait. I know. I did have the first car I ever bought was tan, but I didn't buy it. It was bought for Ew. me from my grandparents. It was like my grandparents were getting a new car. What so it? what was it? A uh, Buick Dodge was... Spirit. Oh, okay. A very old person car. Yeah. Um, but it was it was cheap. I mean, for me it was free, but it was very. I mean, I'm sure my, my father didn't have to pay much for it for my because wow. my grandparents were happening to get a new car. Um, but every car that I have purchased myself has been black. Well, that's not true. Well, but I bought it off my grandparents because they were getting a new car, so it was gray. I can't remember what my first car was, Jonas. Ever? Like, I can picture it, but I don't remember what make and model uh, it was. Gee, yeah, I, I had a Kia Sophia. I'll, I'll count that as my first car. But that's not really what my first Nye car Hines. was. This picture of the story in uh, the Kia Nye Sophia. Oh, Nye hurt again. Well, how was he guy? always hurt, man? He's a wuss, dude. I traded for him. I guess that was a bad mistake. Who's, who's next? Who's our back? So my, my first car. Barber. My first car, Jonas. I remember I was out drinking with uh, one of the guys who worked in. Uh, were you drinking before you were of age to drink? Uh, no, I think. Oh, no, probably. Okay. <laughs> wow. Either way. I was out drinking. I went out drinking with one of the guys that worked at Aladdin's Castle. You Ooh. remember Patchin? Oh, oh, yeah, I do. You do you? Oh, absolutely. That Yo, guy. me and him were actually pretty tight. I've gone out to his house and spent the night a couple of times after we drank or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he, he, was, come on, he, was a, he was a weird guy, right? A little bit. Yeah, he seemed all right, but like there, he, there was just some, there was like an air about him. Yeah. Like I didn't really, you couldn't read him, but you were like, is he all right? Like he was secretly in a cult or something. 
But regardless, like so he had bodies hidden under his porch. <laughs> no. Regardless, him. we went to the beach and we were drinking with a bunch of his friends, and I was like, "Dude, there's no way I'm gonna drive home. Ooh. I'm way too drunk." So I let this young man drive. He starts doing donuts on the beach in my vehicle. <laughs> the next day, my alternator falls off. <laughs> falls out. It's on the top, right? I, I don't know how it got loose. <laughs> but I blame him. He was him. putting so much inertia on the screws, they just came undone on their own. Right. And we're like like a normal person would have been all pissed off, Jones. I even remember back then. I was like, well, I guess I'll just have to get a new <laughs> I guess car. I got to get my alternator. I didn't, I didn't even confront him about it because I was like, you know what? I probably shouldn't have let a drunk guy drive my car. That's probably your first mistake. You probably shouldn't have been drinking underage. Yeah. That was your well, first <laughs> problem. Jonas, look. <laughs> Just, I mean, just saying. I kind of feel like that is more commonplace to think, man. I feel like most alcoholics are born in their teens. Children are drinking before they're. <laughs> Why is this an issue for you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just being a you, you were right there with me. I, no, I wasn't. The I never, heck, you I, weren't. I, I didn't drink when I was. Look, get the fudge out of here, I, dude. I did not. I didn't drink. I didn't drink when I was young. You a, never drank a, at you never drank at the house. Nope. The house bought, where what's I his name's car at, got stolen. I paid for kegs that I did not drink just to have a Christmas party. I remember that. That's yeah. why I figured you drank. Oh, I bought them kegs, but I didn't. I do remember you just walking around with a two liter. Yep. What yeah, the yeah. hell is wrong with I you? I was like, I wanted to have everybody have a good time on Christmas. Jonas, you've always been straight edge. We uh, we had a Christmas kegger. And I, I remember. And I was like, hey, you guys are of age. Here's money. Go buy two kegs. I have everybody God. over. It's hung out. I 1,000% remember that. Yeah, it happened. But <laughs> I do. But I, I, the idea was just like I figured you were drinking with everybody oh, else. Man. I didn't start drinking until I was 21. <laughs> no. <laughs> Still well, no. under age. Well, well, so there's a little story. There's a story. You're a story. I, I got really drunk off Jack Daniels when I was uh, underage. How old? 16. Okay. Well, see. Hold, hold, oh, hold on. Hold on. And, and, and that, what, what just happened? And so I didn't really drink much after that. Yeah. Until I was like 20. Cause I didn't really like beer and like I had that really bad of alcohol. Yeah. Uh, so like I found, oh no, I found them. Um, <laughs> and that's the end of the half. Gosh oh, no. darn it. I screwed up because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I found the beer that I enjoy drinking, which is a little bad blue. Yeah. And then that's, that's a, I started drinking beer. that. I drank a handful of times before I was oh 21. Oh, my God. This guy goes from I never drank until no, I, I was to. I didn't drink at that no. part. I didn't drink very often at all, period. I wasn't like, I wasn't born an alcohol. I still don't really drink a lot to this day. No, nah, do I. Yeah. I mean, I drink probably maybe like four times a year. I go out and like go hard and, and yeah. have like a good time. Yeah. But like other than that, I don't really drink at all. No, I, honestly, I don't really understand people like drink because it just like makes you feel sick. You well, have yeah, to know your limit. On what you can do and stuff. Well, yeah. people don't care. Responsible person, which I am. Yeah. I uh, oh god, there's night high Hines. He's back in the game. He's yeah. broken again. Oh, honestly, the the uh, service of cabs in the form of I can just order one has changed the world. Oh, I don't want to name any. <laughs> I didn't want to name. Oh, any I mean, that's how I'm talking about the large bills. Yeah, not, but, not but the, <laughs> no, you're yeah. talking about Uber and yeah. Lyft. Dude. But yeah, they're, they're great services, man. Oh, absolutely, because the taxi cabs are terrible. Yeah. Like, if you need a cab, never get it. Yeah, honestly, the U.S. government should be paying them. They should literally transfer the taxi service to Uber and Lyft. Well, they can't do that. <laughs> they're both separate companies. Yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, that's essentially what's happened anyways. Yeah. But I saw, I saw uh, a, like a meme online, and it was like, God, what the hell was it? It was like, uh... It was like 1998. Don't get in the car with strangers. 1999. Don't talk to strangers. Yeah. 2018. Let's call a stranger to give me a ride. Home. Yo, that is just crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is, man. There's like people that put their kids in the car on uh, Uber to go to school and stuff, man. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Or they're like, oh man, I can't come get you. I'll call yeah. you an Uber and you take the Uber to practice or yeah, whatever. It's crazy. We do just get into some dude who we have no connection with at all and just trust the fact that he works for this company that anybody can work for. Yeah, I mean, now granted, they do, I mean, they do do some betting, but. Not what, what, a large amount. What's the degree? Because you you've driven for them. Oh, you can't before. like you can't have a DUI. Okay, no, no. Um, you that you have to pass a background check. 
Oh, so they do like a criminal history? They do like, yeah, they do a criminal background check. Okay. They, well, they used, like, I don't, there was a, I don't know if they always did that because like they left Austin for like two years yeah. because there was like a big hu hubaloo about something to do with like who would pay for the background checks or something, whether it was the city or the company or something. And there was, was like a bunch of independents around here for a while. There, I don't even remember what, Ride Austin and a couple, it, so basically same thing, but mm. a little different. And then as soon as Uber and Lyft figure that out with the city and came back, all the independent ones shut down. Like, yeah. It was like a quick little, like... You can't fight that. No, they were just like, oh, while we're... <laughs> while we're... Need, have a need. Yeah, because Uber... Well, at least I know for Uber, they were rating, like, while losing money. Stuff. I'm not sure how that works, but... And no other company... You know, maybe they are getting a government payoff. They've kept... <laughs> They've yeah. kept the amount of like DUI and uh, driver accidents and stuff like that. They've kept that down, man. Oh, absolutely, man. So like, I would maybe. like. I mean, we're not. We're pretty lucky. It only costs us like without a surcharge, like thirteen dollars to go downtown and thirteen dollars to come home, yeah. which is very cheap. You're gonna pay ten bucks to park. I don't know if it's very cheap, <laughs> dude. You're gonna pay like ten dollars to park. Yeah, that's so, true. Like, in a city, in a city, twenty six bucks, and he would have paid ten bucks to park anyways. Sixteen dollars worth peace of mind to me. Yeah, but you can just take the bus, man. <laughs> yeah, you remember what happened? We took the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right. So me and Jonas, we go, and uh, this was New Year's Eve. A couple other people, New Year's Eve. We go out, have a good time on our way back, man. First off, I was walking down the street. I don't know what you guys were doing, and then the bus, the mayor of the bus, hit me in the back of the head. Oh, you did right. <laughs> I forgot you got hit by the bar. And I was like, what the hell, man? <laughs> like, it was just like, thunk. I was like, what the hell? Just because I'm, I'm guess I'm tall, whatever. Anyway, so we get on the bus. We get on our way. We're just talking like a bunch of uh, intoxicated jerks. I do not recommend. And then, like, some guy on a bike is riding alongside the bus. He rams his bike into the bus. At and a then, stoplight. At when a we're completely stoplight. stopped. We are completely stopped in the stoplight, <laughs> and then he rams his bu his bike into the side of the bus. And yeah. then claimed that the bus driver hit him, and he was like, "Oh my God, Lord Jesus!" Right? <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm coming. <laughs> coming home, Mama. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth. So, yeah. So we had to wait for so we had to wait for another bus to come while they were doing an investigation, so we could get home. Yeah. This is at like three in the morning. Yeah. On yeah. New Year's Eve. Yeah. Because we couldn't oh. get we couldn't none of our phones would work. Because there were so many people to call Ooh. an Uber. We, none of us could call an Uber, so we had to take yeah, the bus. We had to take the bus. <laughs> yeah. My phone was dead, and as it usually is. <laughs> yeah. It was a, that, was a, that was a fun night. That was a John Mellon camp right there. A John Mellon? What is that? A John Cougar Mellon camp. <laughs> what did a Cougar have to do that with was that? A, that was a what? That's his middle name, man. I know that, but what is? how does the bus ride have to do with a John Cougar? And Michelle Diacello. Wow, oh, wow, night is calling. Man, that was a good video. Oh, wow, night is calling. Callin'. Yeah. Come on out and dance. Come on out and dance. Wow, dude, that song was interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, night high Heinz. I was listening to 90s classic rock songs all week at work. Were you? I was yeah. listening to The Doors yesterday. Okay. For a really long time. Yo, that's a deep dive. Dude. They're so good. They are, they are. They are a talented group of people who do not create music anymore. Yeah, yeah. It'd be hard when they're all dead, but you know. Whoa, are they? Not all of them, but the main guy is right. Yeah, Morrison died. In like yeah, seventies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they in like. I mean, they have a lot of hit. What is happening? I don't know. Is he gonna? Is wait. he gonna leapfrog him? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they put in new stuff, dude. What is that? They had a duck duck goose one time too. Yeah, I've seen I've seen the duck duck goose. Dude, that was awesome. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, and it was uh, it was really like, and like I started I went to their Spotify and I went to like just their most popular tracks and just played all the way. It'll play forever. And once you got into like the deep dives after all the hits, yeah. Uh, there was like there was some good songs like that I had never heard. My like my father was <laughs> some good songs in there. Never like heard. my father was huge into the Doors, so I've I heard imagine. lots and lots of Doors, lots and lots and lots of Doors. Um, it's kind of like me and Queen. Yeah, dude. Like mm. I don't know. It was it was just like I was like, man, I just was enjoying it, dude. That's what's up, man. It's good to get back to your 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 grassroots there. Yeah, dude. Oh I, my Jesus. I, I have some stuff that my mom used to listen to that I've listened to. 
like when I went through my Al Green phase. Yeah. Where I listened to Al Green like every day for hours on end. I knew all of his songs. Yeah. Uh, oh, Motown stuff mostly. Dude, you know, you know, like my parents had like really good musical taste. Like, yeah, they own, they worked in a music shop, owned a music shop. Well, yeah, worked in it. Worked yeah. in it. Yeah. Chacha's parents owned it. My mom worked there. Yeah, I knew there was um, something going on. But there. uh, time out. One more jerk. <laughs> what, what are you gonna do? <laughs> just just flex on them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, you gotta try a little bit. Um, but. Like my parents used to listen to uh, the other, one of the other things I distinctly remember as a child was uh, them listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers' "Blood Sugar Sex Magic." Really? Like, How are they? They are like old though. No, they weren't. They had to be old. That song. I, my mom was twenty four when she had me. Wait, how? So, and that 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 came boy. out when I was like in elementary school. Oh, your mom is younger than my mom. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I forget my mom had me super late, man. Yeah. So, yeah, like, your mom so was way younger than It was mom. like, yeah, like, in, like, she would listen, they listened also. John Cougar, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And because, you know, back then you would record CDs on the tapes and listen to them in the car because they didn't have, like, CDs players. Mm-hmm. And they had the Red Hot Chili Peppers tape and they wrote Red Hot Chili Peppers in green marker on it. And I distinctly will never forget that. And I always thought <laughs> as a child that that was cool because it was red and green. Ha <laughs> ha, funny. All right. So, anyways, that is all time we have for today's episode. So sure. <laughs> about colors, where the hell we went from that. It, it all came full circle because at the end I talked about colors. It, yep. Uh, please, Not any good ones, though. No, but. no, no, no. Please make sure to like and subscribe. You've already done that. Share our videos with your friends because that will help us grow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>